after millions of men and women elected Donald J. Trump into office, the far-left social justice warriors of this country have been left wondering what happened. Hillary's book, A Direct Response to This, has been absolutely bombing. While some Americans don't know what happened, the vast majority of Americans do, a sycophantic, psychopathic, serial liar ran for office, and lost. It's that simple. The people of America don't want Hillary Clinton in office, because she's one of the most corrupt politicians we've ever seen. Apparently she can't seem to get this through her head, however, either that or she's been trying to milk this election for all it's worth by publishing a book. Fortunately, sales have been absolutely abysmal. So abysmal in fact, that she's resorted to promoting her new book What Happened, in the Costco milk aisle. According to journalist Laura Loomer, numerous protesters could also be seen outside, chanting to lock Hillary up and throw her in prison. Unfortunately Mississippi Loomer was not allowed to enter the Costco, as she'd previously asked Hillary some tough questions. Connecticut Post reports. As if it was Black Friday, Clinton's upcoming book signing Saturday at Costco in Brookfield is being met with hype and hand in a town that hasn't voted for a Democrat for president since Lyndon Johnson in 1964. The winner of the presidential popular vote last year, Clinton will visit the wholesale warehouse on Route 7 near Danbury at noon as part of her national tour to promote what happened. Clinton diehards camped out overnight for Tuesday's tour launch in New York City, which has locals wondering if a similar scene will play out in Brookfield and whether the town is prepared for crowd control, gridlock, and potential protests. Greg Dombofsky, Brookfield's Republican Town Committee chairman, said a dozen police and EMS personnel have been assigned to work the event, in addition to Clinton's Secret Service detail and Costco security. So who's paying for that? Dombofsky said. For a town that doesn't even support the Democrats, it just blows my mind. Brookfield Police Chief James J. Purcell declined to discuss staffing plans for Saturday or the costs involved with Clinton's visit for security reasons. A request for comment was also left Thursday for First Selectman Stephen Dunn, the town's chief elected official and a Democrat. Clinton is expected to sign 1,000 copies of her memoir from noon to 2 p.m. during the members-only event at Costco which will distribute numbered wristbands to people as they line up. Michael Zakia, Brookfield's Democratic Town Committee chairman, hopes to be one of them. People I talk to are excited about this, Zakia said. But, she certainly is a polarizing figure in our national political landscape. Zakia said it would be unfortunate if a circus-like atmosphere resulted, that goes for Clinton's fans and detractors. I hope that it's sort of a different market and different vibe here, Zakia said. This is Brookfield. It's a nice community, nice people. I hope that it's a nice event. In her 512-page book published this week by Simon & Schuster, Clinton dishes the dirt on her rival for the Democratic nomination, Bernie Sanders, and lost to Donald Trump in the November election. The $30 memoir details Clinton's meeting with Nelva Marquez Green, who lost her daughter, Anna Grace Marquez Green, at Sandy Hook Elementary School, during a visit to Hartford. Backslash. Funny enough, not even the Costco employees wanted her there. We hate her, one of them said. I don't know why they even let her come in, another added. It seems that America has finally woken up to Hillary and her deceitfulness, something which conservatives have been pointing out for years now.